All right, subscriber asked me a question. Her and her husband watch the channel all the time. She said, my husband went to one of those quick lube places that you always suggest being careful of. And sure enough, when I left, uh, when he left, the check engine light popped on after he left one of the Jiffy Lubes or Priest Monkey or something like that, whatever it was. And uh, check engine light's on now and it ain't running right. What's what's going on what do you think that they did well what do they do whenever they and this is not just for a quick lube place this is for a dealership independent shop this is for any type of facility where you're getting some kind of inspection done when they do their multi-point inspection what's well, one of the first things that they do when they get to the air filter box they unclip it and they tip it straight up right sometimes that filter will get caught in the upper part of the lid there's debris and stuff in there what ends up happening they tip the box up to pull it up out of the way to get to the filter underneath it and any of that debris and stuff that's in there or that's in the beginning of that tube it gets dumped right over on the mass airflow or they unplug the mass airflow sensor that's right by the air filter and they never plug it back in so then you got to pull the mass airflow back out tap it on a little white piece of paper just a little tip 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 not like you're trying to kill it just a little tap and you'll see the debris start falling out of it nine times out of ten when you just got done for an oil change they checked your air filter and all that other stuff they didn't plug the mass airflow sensor back in or they dumped a bunch of debris that was on the top of that filter or in that filter housing over on top of the mass airflow and that induction tube needs to be cleaned out and that mass airflow uh, needs to be cleaned out and i know you're like well it's a sealed system all the debris should be underneath it doesn't always work that way so many times i've had the lube techs here at the dealership the ford dealership where i'm a master tech at get done doing an oil change do all their you know safety check and everything else pull the vehicle around shut the vehicle off the customer goes out to get back in the vehicle start the vehicle back up because it needs two key cycles to see a problem like that what ends up happening is check engine light goes off i go out there and i'm like did you plug the mass airflow back in oh darn it run out there plug the mass airflow back in clear the codes it's fine when you pulled up that box on that f-150 did you, did you check and make sure did you kind of crack it a little bit, see if there's a bunch of debris and stuff in the lid of it, or the filter was sealed all the way before you tipped that thing up and dumped a bunch of garbage over on the mass airflow? No, I didn't. Clean the mass airflow. Clean the mass airflow, plug the connector in. Nine times out of ten, that's typically what it is. When it's just a general check, um, when it's just a quick oil change, check the air filter, check the tire pressure, stuff like that, tire rotation. Yeah, make sure that mass airflow is plugged back in, right by the air filter box. If it's on an F-150, literally it's the box and then the tube coming off of it and there's a sensor right in it. Unplug it, take your T, there's two T20 Torx screws, pull the sensor out, give it a little tap, knock the debris and stuff off of it, put it back in, torque your little torque screws back down, plug your connector back in, clear your codes or pull the battery, negative battery terminal you know, five minutes, put it back, tighten everything down, probably good to go. Check the mass airflow sensor. It's one of the number one things after going to get your oil changed at a quick lube place that sets the check engine light. 